All right, we back. Box Clan Gamora, y'all know what it is. Told you guys got a special, special video. I got a great exception video coming today. And it's definitely an exception to what I usually do. But, um, you know, I've been badgered by the question, so I dropped the video about a week early. But we here talking boxing with your boy CJ Goodfellow. And Eddie Hearn says that Danny Jacobs, you know, deserves... You know, Triple G and Canelo next, which I linked the article in the description, as usual with the other links. And then what's so funny about it is Peter Nelson comes up behind him, according to the to the article, and says it's up to Danny Jacobs and then the Polish guy that he's fighting to create demand for a Gennady Golovkin rematch for Daniel Jacobs or a Canelo fight. He acknowledges the fact that, and Peter Nelson, he's the, uh, I think he's the, uh, he's the head of HBO Sports. He he acknowledges the facts and backed up Oscars, claim that it will be a rubber match. It will be a third fight. So they believe it will be a third fight. Peter Nelson said it'd be a third fight. Oscar said it'd probably be a third fight. Eddie Hart said we we join. HBO for a variety of reasons. You know why they joined HBO? It's because Anthony Joshua was heading over to HBO. Miller has a deal with HBO. Okay? He has a fight deal. I think a short fight deal. Joshua, this is his last fight with Showtime, I believe. Joshua was heading to HBO. And Danny Jacobs was just a guy that he picked up to, you know, see what he can do. Well, he's a guinea pig for Matchroom USA. And Eddie probably really believes that Peter Nelson can make Danny Jacobs versus... Gennady Golovkin or Canelo Alvarez happened, which it would make sense to think that. I mean, he signed a five or six fight deal with HBO for, to be fighting Louis Arias and then another fight versus a Polish guy who's undefeated. But come on, it's not a major fight. He can't fight Zhezhenko because obviously they uh, got the same coach. I mean, Andr Andrade don't want to fight nobody. They can't make Billy Joe Saunders fight nobody. They don't want him to fight Jamal Charlo. So who is he going to fight? If Canelo and, and, and Triple G do another rematch, that September, they done for the year. Which is what this trending to be. And he says, create demand. How do I create demand for a Golovkin fight or a Canelo fight if I'm either one of these dudes, the Poland guy, Polish guy, and Jacobs, when I'm fighting on this shitty card? It's not one great fight on this card. I'm sorry. And HBO numbers are slipping. They're slipping. So how do I create great demand? Okay, I have a good fight versus Polish guy. But do people say, oh, I want to see him versus Canelo and Triple G? No. The only way this fight would have created demand and a kind of demand for a Triple G or Canelo fight, whoever the winner may be, is fighting on a coat or fighting on the undercard. This April 28th fight ain't on a, on a pedestal or nothing. It's in the middle of a PBC storm. In April, you have... Charlo versus Herb. You have Tank Davis coming back. You have Broner Omar Fig Omar Figueroa. That's one probably gonna do the best premium network television numbers because they both are crazy and they doing they keeping their name in the news, especially Broner. And then after that, you have Adonis Stevenson Badu Jack after April 28th. Then you got Keith Thurman versus comeback fight. You're in the blizzard, bro. You lost in the shuffle. You a needle in the haystack. Nobody cares about Danny Jacobs versus God. They don't. So how do you create demand when you went stuck? You stuck in neutral. You slipping in mud. So that's that's BS. That's BS. So basically, what they're telling you is basically HBO don't know what they're doing. They wasted money in Jacobs. They can't make Canelo fight Jacobs. So why are you signing all these middleweights if they're not gonna fight each other? Why are you signing all these middleweights if they're not gonna fight each other? I'm saying again. Bad investment. They don't know how to run boxing. Bob Aram's right. Peter Nelson, he's dumb. Are oh, we going to do a Canelo? We know we're going to do a rubber match. And that makes me iffy about even wanting to buy. I'm not buying the fight. I'm just keeping it true. They ain't pipping me out of no money. But if I'm a buyer, why do I want to buy a fight and I know it's going to be a third fight? <laughs> Sounds fishy to me, right? When they already promoting the third fight and the second fight ain't even happy yet. So basically... I'm going to tell you this. Canelo and Triple G going to use each other because, one, Billy Joe Saunders, if he look good versus Martin Murray again, 
Triple G don't want that work. Triple G, no. They can suck all the junk they want about Billy Joe Saunders. If Triple G fight Canelo again, undisputed going out the window. Billy Joe Saunders is not going to sit there and wait for Triple G no more. He's going to go up there and face George Groves by that time that happened. Maybe he can wait around for Triple G. I don't know. But Danny Jacobs is highly rated in the WBO, I believe, as well. And he don't want to fight Danny Jacobs. Before he fight Triple G, he wants the payday. And George Groves brings a solid, better payday than Danny Jacobs in the UK. So Danny Jacobs, his gift from HBO and from Eddie Hearn is going to be just being a WBO champion, being a real world top champion for the first time. Because a regular WBA championship, that's not a real championship belt. That's like a, a w, an interim or diamond belt or whatever it may be. You heard me? So, basically, Danny Jacobs signed his, signed his life away, his five or six fight deal, whatever it may be, with, with HBO, just to keep doing the same stuff he was doing with Premier Boxing Champions and Showtime. I mean, it's not, a, it's not even a fight that's going to drive him to popularity like Peter Quillen over there that they're willing to make. They can't get Billy Joe signed. They, they, Canelo and Triple G not going to fight him. We know it's Canelo not. We know Triple G don't want that smoke in the rematch. Abel Sanchez has said that. Andrade don't want to fight him. I mean, David Lemieux was bought under the bridge. They don't want Jamal Charlo. Dude, you, I mean, you signed your contract with Eddie Hearn to do the same thing you was doing with Premier Boxing Champions. You just on HBO. <laughs> You're doing the same numbers or less with HBO. It ain't going to make Danny Jacobs a bigger star than what the Peter Quillen fight did. Nothing on HBO they're willing to make to do that. You have to create demand for a fight, but you paying me to fight on your network, good money to fight subpar competition and not fight the other guys. So HBO basically cornered the middleweight market not to have these guys fight each other. Ain't that some of the dumbest stuff you ever heard? So you pay Andrade a three fight deal. You pay Jacobs a five or six fight deal, whatever it may be. You, Shazanko fights on your network. Canelo Triple G fights on your network. Billy Joe Saunders fought on your network. You don't lock him in. <laughs> Dude, HBO is dumb. They're stupid. And the only reason Eddie Hearn is over there working is because Anthony Joshua is coming over to HBO. And in America, that's not going to save you. Unless he is fights in America more often. But let me know what y'all think. We gone.